Hi guys, you are using NS2. If you want to run some NS2 program, you have to use Linux operating system. For that, either you have to install Linux operating system or you have to use VMware to install virtual machine then you have to install Linux then you will use NS2 in that platform but if you want to work in Windows 7 using the same and you have to install that in NS2 we can install Sigwin and we can work with NS2 today we will see various steps of how to install Sigwin and how to install NS2 using Sigwin first of all we will we will see how to install Sigwin in Windows 7 then after installing Sigwin we will install NS2 step by step first of all you have to install the three files from the link given on the desktop you can see on the desktop all the three files NS2.35 part 1 part 2 and part 3 first of all unzip the files or uncompress the files on the desktop after uncompressing the files you will see a folder name ns2.35 on the desktop you have to do just open the folder in that folder you will see different files you have to run the sigwin setup file you have to install from the local package in that local package on the desktop you are having ns2.35 then go in ns local then go in release click ok and next then the screen will appear it will take some time to install sigwin just wait for some time after installing this A shortcut will be appear on your desktop. Finish the in installation. Ignore the messages. After installing Sigwin, you will see a shortcut will be appear on a, your desktop. Just go to my computer C drive. You will see here a folder is created named Sigwin. When you will search in Sigwin folder, there are many directories go in the home directory that is blank close this run from the segment you will see here some files are getting created these files are getting created in the home directory you can see from my computer C drive Sigwin home and this folder is the name of the user in your laptop 
just create one more folder here name that folder as these files are getting created in the user profile now go in, the, in ns 2.35 folder here ns all in one 2.35 rc this file is there just extract this file in home directory in home directory one n o u r e w d i n e folder is there just extract this file in that fo folder Now in this folder one file is there dot bashrc just copy this file and paste this file in the c drive sigwin home swati just paste this file when message will be there just copy and replace so the environmental variables path can be get set up now what you have to do just run the sigwin shortcut you will see there will be home user message is there so your environment variables path is getting set now you have to install ns 2.35 just what you have to do, do just see the directories you have to come out from that folder now home is there just now you have to go in the another folder name n o u r e w d i n e change directory so ns all in 1 2.3 is there we have to change the directory ns all in one 2.35 rc7 now in this we have to type the command dot flash install now ns 2.35 is getting installed it will take some time it may be one hour or two hour that depends upon your machine configuration so you have to wait till one or two hours so the installation get finished after completing this installation you will see a screen like this just close this window now just go and start type xwin 
click on this you will see icon here right click on this click on applications external a screen will appear like this here you can run your ns2 programs whatever is the program or the file of your project you can put in the your user directory suppose here i am having this folder name example which contains tcl script i'll put this file in copy this file and paste in the sigwin home swati paste this file here now we have to run the program from here we will see in which directory we are we have to if we have to see the files in this directory we can list the directory now our programs are in this example folder so we have to run in that particular folder so change directory now we are in the example folder we can list the directories here now in these files our runnable file is test.tcl so just to run a tcl command tcl program we have to write ns space test dot tcl press enter here it will sh show some starting code then uh, name file will be appear you just run this name file and we can able to run the tcl script here the file will be the same as we used to run in the linux platform if your graph file is not runnable then what we have to do just go in sigwin folder home directory another folder name xgraph 12 here is the executable file of xgraph copy this file from here and paste this in the bin directory now you can able to run the xgraph also so this is so simple we can just install the sigwin and after installing sigwin we can install ns2 a network simulator for a wireless or wired network